Well, here we have another Facebook Live look-in. We're here with Sydney today. Hi. And Sydney started her care here about a month and a half ago, two months ago. And she started because she had jaw discomfort, neck, shoulder discomfort. She had been to different practitioners. Do you mind telling a little bit of your story? Yeah, um, so I've been having this pain for about five years now. Um, I've tried so many different doctors, physical therapy multiple times. Um, I've been to another chiropractor, a spine doctor, different specialists, shoulder doctors, MRIs, everything, uh, neurologists, everything under the sun, and I was never able to get answers until I came here. I was referred by one of my coworkers, Susan, um, and I was I was a little bit skeptical at first just because I'm like, okay, it's been five years, like oh, there's nothing more really that I can do, but I gave it a shot and I, I yeah, I mean, I'm about a month and a half to two mm -hmm. months in and there's a huge difference. This is the first time I've had this much pain relief in the last five years, so I'm super thankful. Wonderful. Go so boom, 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 boom. Get that to unlock as best as we can. Now, we had sent this x-ray, because you were seeing somebody at Sharp at the time, right? Yeah. And we sent this over to your spine doctors over there, and I don't think they've even ever seen an x-ray like that before. Right. Yeah. No. So what we have here is a very, very unique insight into what's actually going on in the spine, and because of that, we can give a very, very specific and gentle adjustment in order to bring about relief. The spine is kind of like a, I use this analogy, it's like a sailboat in that all the sails eventually have to attach to the top. So if we can affect the top, that should be able to bring about an untwisting all the way down her spine, right down here. So I'm just measuring down. Remember she has a lot of twist in her spine, so I need to work that into how I'm adjusting her. Everybody's adjustment is unique. You know, carefully position myself in order to give a very gentle adjustment. You were also telling me last week about this area. That was I didn't even know that was a problem. My for you. IT band. Yeah. yeah, the IT band. I've had a IT band inflammation for about three years now. It, I was overtraining, etc. I wasn't stretching properly, and it became inflamed. I did. I spent probably about a th over a thousand dollars on massage therapy for it, and it would not. It would get better, and then as soon as I would have an intense training again, it would flare up again. Um, a lot of runners. It's also known as like like runner's knee. Yeah. Um, so, and I didn't even mention that mm -hmm. to the doctor just because I didn't think it was relevant. This was so important this, for you at the time. Yeah, I mean, I was just like, this is driving me crazy. I mean, my IT band was also really making me struggle, but I just didn't think it was relevant. And I came back last week and I was like, hey, so my IT band isn't, hasn't gotten inflamed. It's not inflamed anymore. I don't have an issue with it. Um, I'm able to do heavy leg days again and do sprints and everything that I like to do. And I just noticed that I'm not having the pain that I was. That's great. And what we tend to do in Western medicine or in physical therapy or even in personal training is we say, hmm, that area's a little weak, we gotta strengthen that. That area's a little bit tight, we gotta loosen that up. And we're not looking at the whole entire body. The IT band, for example, is that ligament that attaches from here down to here. <clears throat> and here's kind of a picture of the side ligaments. The IT band would connect here down to here. But we have to zoom out and just understand that there's connective tissue that attaches from the bottom of your big toe all the way to the top of your head. I'm only 5'8", but I have like a six and a half foot long piece of connective tissue that connects all the way from here to the bottom of my foot. So if we only dealt with her neck only and left the IT band alone, or if we only dealt with the IT band and we didn't deal with this, then we're neglecting the rest of her 90% of her body. Remember, it's like a sailboat. And when we attach, when we address, when we adjust the top of her spine, it really has a full spine effect. Most chiropractors, and God bless them, I wouldn't be a chiropractor if I didn't get help from a more traditional chiropractor in the first place, but they're approaching the spine segmentally. 
we gotta deal with C5, we gotta do T8, we gotta do something to L3, and perhaps the ilium. However, when we look at the spine segmentally like that, we're neglecting the rest of the forest. And what I want you to understand is that when the leg goes short, this is a full body phenomenon. But we have to respect the fact of why did the muscles go tight in the first place? Why did the leg go short in the first place? That's a great question, why? We don't just want to look, you know, okay, we've got to deal with that. Maybe the person needs a leg length. Maybe they need a leg lift. Maybe they've got to put something inside of their shoe in order to accommodate for that. Maybe they've got to stretch that. No, let's zoom out even more. What is in charge of this entire system that controls the tone of the muscles that go all the way down? Well, it's the cerebellum. It's the brainstem. This is the postural, tonal, dealing with gravity system in your body. So if you're not on straight up here, you really, I know it sounds funny, but you got nothing. This is your foundation, okay? If you, being 30 years old, 25 years old, 65 years old, you were formed from the top towards the bottom. That was the blueprint for you. Kind of like a Roman, the Roman Colosseum that's still standing to this day, right? Well, the engineering concept behind that was the archway. And what's the main thing there? It's that keystone up top. If it's not correctly positioned, and if it's not correctly shaped, forget about it. The rest of that's going to crumble. So what we do here is tailor-made, specific, made just for you adjustments, extremely gentle, because we know exactly what the shape of the atlas vertebrae is. When I got started in my chiropractic about uh, 15, 20 years ago, the side of my atlas was actually bigger on the left side. You could feel it even right now on me over here. And so since most chiropractors lack that particular x-ray view that I was showing, let me show this again. We saw how rotated Sydney's atlas was. Since they're lacking this, they'll just say, okay, you're laying on your back and they feel that it's more pronounced on the one side and you get an adjustment like that. I was getting that for a year and a half. My scoliosis kept on getting worse. So here I am in chiropractic college, and there's my spine. Okay, That's why I became a chiropractor, is because I got the, the, the result that I received as a patient. I used to walk around like this. Okay, I still have the scoliosis, but at least I'm not walking around scaring all the little kids. It wasn't until the x-ray view was taken of me that actually showed that my atlas wasn't slipped out to this side. It was actually on that side. Can we see that? It was actually on that side, and that's what I care about. I care about the inside, I care about the neural canal where the brain stem is, because that's where the healing takes place. 